Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cafe. My name is Isaac and we're back playing some Agrarian Skies for episode 26 and look at all this dirt. Oh yeah. So last episode we got ourselves the Flux Infused Sickle with Silk Touch 5 which has been flipping awesome since last episode. I've been repeatedly planting and bone mealing and harvesting the trees uh, in this spot over here. You can see I haven't quite cut this one down yet. But then using the sickle to get all of the leaves, throwing eight leaves into a barrel at a time and getting some dirt back which is flipping awesome. And then I've just put it down up here. And we've almost completed this platform. We've got about two strips uh, either side to do and one at the back. And then we're going to have to move all this stuff. Move the harvester back, get an upgrade, upgrade the planter, and then just like have massive tree farm on top of our house, which is pretty awesome. I'm also thinking of getting a bunch more of these covers, these like oak plank covers, uh, and putting them on the roof so we don't have a dirt roof because that's pretty uh, pretty annoying. Let's go ice this sucker. Yeah, you don't, you don't even hurt me when I've got this sword. Yeah, what? <laughs> okay, so the noise is a bit annoying actually though. Come on. Come on, you're dead. You're dead. Come on. <laughs> okay, so uh, other things that I've done since last episode, I have made a new pickaxe. Um, because if you don't remember, the last pickaxe we made was a full iron pickaxe, which I thought was going to be enough to mine some stuff in the nether, but it turns out it was not. Uh, so what I did is I made one with an obsidian head, which has a mining level of ardite. And I think if we get ourselves some ardite, we can then make uh, an ardite pick, which is good enough to mine cobalt, which is like the best pick ever. And then I think maybe millennium is like the next tier of ingot but i don't know if he actually is better at mining the cobalt i'm not too sure about that uh, what i do know is that this pickaxe here was good enough to mine me some quartz and let me tell you it, the, pff, the nether is not a safe place to mine quartz um i went there because we needed some quartz what we we're gonna do today but it was flipping scary i went in there i was mining for i started mining and it can mine quartz which is good but, um, of course, as usual, after, every so often it'll start hissing and then they also blow up, which is fine. Um, so I just thought, that, okay, I, I can deal with this. I'll just run away when I start to hear the hissing. It's like a creeper. Um, so I hit it. I, start, I got the stuff, quickly ran away before it blew up. But one time there was like these hellfish, I think they were called, that came out. They were like little fiery silverfish that ran out. And they were like, must have been like a stack of them. Imagine 64 silverfish just like attacking you all on fire and all attacking me. And one of them like was one of those god ones where you get a bow at the top of the screen and... Ah, oh, it was it was horrific. I died like four times trying to get my stuff back. Um, but I managed to get it back. Luckily, they, they, they did die in one hit from my broadsword, which is kind of nice. Uh, it was a good, a good thing that that didn't get destroyed in like lava or something. Otherwise, I don't think I got most of my stuff back. Okay, so what I'll do today... Oh, yeah, I also planted these as well. I also planted these ender lily seeds. Uh, I planted some of them on the, the hood there. I don't know if it needed to be hood or not, but I planted these four and then realized I didn't need it. Actually, the one... These two are both at 14%. They do grow really slowly, but when they do grow, they give you free ender pearls, which is nice. Um, so they do grow kind of slowly, but uh, they seem to be doing the same speed on the dirt and on the hard dirt. So I'll just leave that there. That's something else I did between episodes. Um, anyway, what I want to do today is... Oh, my God. <laughs> I thought my I don't like Enderman at the best of times. I don't like it when they're bouncing around making noise because it's raining. Come on. Just die. There we go, he's dead, okay. So what I want to do today is I want to get set up with an ME system. I know I said this like 10 episodes ago now, or however long ago it was, but uh, I'm fed up. Look at, all, look at all this stuff. We've got like 18 chests, all of which we have to search through whenever we try to find something, none of which have any organization whatsoever, and I want to set up a little AE system. So uh, the reason that we didn't do it before is because we didn't have the means to get um, the pulverized version of the nether quartz, uh, this stuff here, nether quartz dust, so we couldn't actually do anything. We just we, we hit like a brick wall, couldn't go anywhere, and we couldn't make what we needed to make. But that's going to change. Oh, look at this ender pearl. I like free ender pearls. Okay, so we're going to get our ME process that we started making last episode. Some fluix dust, some silicon, and did we end up making a cutting knife? We did. Nice. Okay, so we get the cutting knife, and I don't think there's anything else here we need to make our system. So let's head on back around because we're going to need most of the stuff around here. Luckily, we've got our 26 apples from our tree. And I don't know if I showed you, we've got like four or five stacks of wood as well, which is like flipping awesome. We've got a ton of wood, which is very nice. So, let's have a look. I'm thinking we need an ME controller. An ME controller is needed for like the, to be the base of the ME system. You need one in order to do anything, otherwise things just don't work. So, uh, an ME advanced processor is a smelted ME processor assembly. Uh, I also think there's another way to do that, actually, which, in which you get two... No? Okay. Uh, I thought there was a way to get two. We can also, yeah, smelt it. Um, but this guy requires a cutting knife, some redstone, a diamond, and some silicon. All of which we've got. All of which we've got quite an abundance of, actually. And I think we can probably just make one right off the bat. Can we? No, we cannot. Because we don't have any redstone on us. Where's our redstone? Uh, we've got two in here, three in here, even. I think we've got some more over in that chest over there. Uh, not 100% on that, though. I hope we do, because we're going to need quite a bit of it, I think, today. So let's grab one of you. 
Really? You're not going to let me do that? You're not going to let me shift click this in? Ah, you know. Well, I'm sure we took, you know, I'm sure we took that silicon over there. Uh, I pointed it out at least, anyway. Okay, so silicon and hopefully redstone as well while we're at it. Uh, maybe not so much the redstone. Let's get rid of some junk we don't need. We don't need this pickaxe, so um, the saw we don't need at the minute. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Silicon's there. Do we have some redstone anywhere? Maybe? Possibly? No, we've got six more diamonds. Jesus Christ. I'm sure they're giving out diamonds faster than they used to before because we're getting a ton of this stuff. Um, I think maybe after the upgrade, update that made it so that you had to have uh, diamonds for autonomous activators. Maybe they tweaked the config so that you yeah, get more diamonds from sifting through gravel. I don't know. Possibly. Uh, we should hopefully have some redstone somewhere. See, this is a real pain. It's a pain to have to search through all this stuff to try and find some redstone. Um, and if we don't, which it doesn't look like we do, oh, that's a pain. Really? I'm sure we had some redstone lying about. Am I being blind, or do we just like not have any redstone? It could be a thing that we... Oh, no, it might be in here, actually. Uh, do, do, do... Oh, really? Really? No redstone? What is this about? Ah! Do we get redstone from sitting through sand? I think we might do. I've, uh, I've also put most of my iron in here, so it's all ready to smelt if we need it. I just can't believe we have any redstone. I'm sure we had, like, half a stack of the stuff. Ah, that's a pain. Anyway, let's make this, um... Any basic thingamajig that we need to start with. Advanced processor even. Uh, let's smelt you up. In there. And then I think... Oh, we don't have... Oh, we're going to need redstone for this stuff. Ah! Okay, so we are going to have to go and get ourselves some redstone from somewhere. And to be honest, I think the only place we're going to be able to get it from is we just sit and sift through some sand. <sighs> Which is a pain, because I don't want to sit and sift through sand. That makes a boring video. So I'm probably going to have to cut away, guys. Find myself some redstone, and I'll be back once I have done so. Okay, I've managed to muster up eight redstone from all the dust that I've been uh, uh, putting through the system. I think we're going to have to either reconfigure this system or set up multiple systems so that we can get... Uh, instead of just gravel going through, we can get some uh, sand and some dust going through as well. Because although it's really annoying because you get all the other random junk, and by junk I mean like um, this stuff here, I'll show you. Because uh, for, for gravel, you get broken iron ore. For sand, you get crushed. And then for uh, uh, dust, you get pulv not pulverized. For dust, you get yeah pulverized, but just not from thermal expansion, which is even more of a pain. Um, so from all the different ones, you get different stuff, which is a pain to try and sort and organize later on. But you also get stuff like redstone, which we haven't been making for like the last 10 episodes, and so therefore have run out of. So we're probably going to have to set up some more systems. Now, probably what I'll do between episodes is either... Change that one. I don't think changing that one's going to solve anything because I think eventually we're just going to run out of stuff that gravel makes. So I think what we're going to have to do is um, make probably two more of those so that we can get one going for sand and one going for gravel. As One going for gravel, one going for sand and one going for dust as well. So we can get all the stuff from all of the things and everyone's happy. So back to this guy. We need some of these dudes and for that we're going to need redstone, quartz and some of these which we've got a lot of which is nice. So is he going to let us shift click them in? It is. We need one, two, three, four, which is like all of our redstone gone. <laughs> so we get rid of that. And what else did we need in there? It's like iron and a circuit. Like, okay, iron and a circuit. Okay, that's easy enough. Get rid of you. Iron in the corners. And the circuit in the middle. Boom. Emmy controller made. Nice. So I'm going to put this guy down over here. And the cool thing is that all the ME machines that connect up uh, transfer power like, between themselves. So you don't, have, you don't have to have a conduit going to every single one. Uh, like you do with some machines, which is nice. So we got that down. I think the next thing we're going to go for, we need... We, there's two things we could go for here. We could go for a chest and then put a drive in the chest. Or we could go for an ME... Well, put a disc in the chest. Or we could go for a drive and put one of the storage discs into the drive. Now, I think for the sake of this episode... Mm, see, this one requires only one basic circuit. This one requires two, but this one can hold up to... Is it eight? Maybe ten? Drives. This one can only hold one, and we're going to need a few drives if we want to get all our stuff in there. So I think I'm going to go. I'm going to think I'm going to push the boat out and try and get this one. So we've got one of these um, ME basic processors already. We're just going to need another one, which I think is just gold. Yeah, gold. We need two redstone, so we are running out of that redstone very, very fast. Gold, redstone, silicon, and was it like this or like this maybe? There we go. Cook this up, and we'll get our second basic processor. We're also going to need. Uh, some iron, some glass, and a chest. All of which are not too hard to get, especially considering we have a nice, nice amount of wood. Uh, we should have some glass. We got glass on us, and what else was it? 
uh, iron. Iron we've got a ton of as well. So that shouldn't be too big of a deal. We could go up there and start shearing all them leaves, but I really don't want to fill up my inventory right now. It was raining for an awfully long time. We've got like so many ender pearls. I picked up like three during the course of like the, sh the rainstorm that was happening. Because all the endermen that spawned over on that island over there, like all just started teleporting around, dying, and then randomly I just walked around and be like, oh look, there's an ender pearl on the floor. Because <laughs> they just die in random spots. It was uh, kind of odd, but I'm not complaining. So, I've completely forgotten what we came in here for. Flipping, gosh, my memory at the minute has just been ridiculously bad. We came in here for wood. That's what we came in here for. Gosh, has it? come on. Uh, okay, so apparently we've got two lots of things in there now. That's nice. Uh, we need, that's all we need. We should probably get a little bit more because otherwise we'll probably run out. But, uh, oh, flipping egg, did I just saw that? You know, <laughs> I like the vacuum hopper, but it can be a real pain sometimes. I want them back. Thank you. Okay. Chest. There we go. And boom, we're done. Okay. So let's go get this made. And then I'm just going to do fingers crossed and hope that we have enough redstone to make at least one disc uh, to saw some of our stuff on. Because if we don't, then we may have to do another quick cut and try and make some. So shift click. There we go. ME drive. Nice. Let's throw you down here. So now we can put all of our 10 drives in here, or up to 10 drives, which is very nice. And then the next thing on the list is a storage cell. Now, I'm thinking about going with the 4K ones to start with, which needs three redstone, and then four redstone. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, how much are we going to need? Okay, so we need three for that. Uh, seven. Ah, oh, 12 more. We need like oh, we need like 20 plus redstone. What is that about? We can make a 1K disc, which can store 1,024 bytes. That might do. But still, for that, we need seven redstone. We've got two. So that's not really an option. We're also going to need a storage monitor, which is iron, an ME cable, some glass, and an ME level emitter, which is a basic process, some redstone, uh, uh, too much stuff. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to risk it, and I'm going to go and eat some food, and then we are going to head out. Actually, I'm going to make some toast real quick, like we did before, and then I'm going to head out and see if we can find some redstone in the nether, because if we find it in the nether, we can pulverize it. I think we get like four redstone per nether redstone ore which is pretty awesome. So we can get an awful lot more redstone than we would if we just sat around pulverizing dust, like trying to get, yeah, pulverizing dust all day and trying to get that to work. So let's turn you into bread. And then let's cook that bread into toast. And I think, uh, I'm scared of the nether now. I, I, I honestly am. I'm seriously contemplating making some armor of some sort because it, it's a scary place. I'm definitely considering making a diamond chest player. That would be quite a nice feature to have. Um, it's only eight, isn't it? Yeah, let's let's make a diamond chest plate. There we go. Look at that. We're we're pushing the boat out. We're going all out. We've got a diamond chest plate. We're gonna make some iron leggings. I am like honestly scared of those guys in the in the ocean. The well, not in the ocean. What we're talking about uh, of those guys in the nether. We're gonna just mix and match here. Look at this. Oh yeah, we look awesome. <laughs> okay, how's our toast doing? Three might be enough, maybe possibly. Actually, we'll, we'll wait. We'll get four. There we go. Four, four's definitely enough. Okay. All uh, right, let's go. Here we go. Wish me luck. <laughs> we'll see how I do. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, so first things first, let's turn off these shaders because they're just a pain whilst we're in the nether. And let's have a look. I don't want to walk into... You can see my last test over there. I'm not going to walk that way because I think... I don't think the hellfish disappear, which is a real pain. Uh, I think they just sort of sit there and wait. Let's have a look. If we press U on this stuff... 24 redstone per one of these. I'm going to get as much of this as I can. Because that nicely sets us up for a flipping heck of a lot of redstone. Oh my god. Why didn't I, why didn't I do this a minute ago? I just spent like 20 minutes flipping <laughs> stood by the uh, the sift or whatever it's called trying to get some of this stuff. And we've just got 6 times 24 redstone already just by sitting there. Flipping heck eyes. Like what the... 24 redstone. That is insane. <laughs> Gosh. I mean, you normally get, like, what is it, 4 or 8 from a normal piece of, like, over overworld redstone in a normal game. Uh, let's put shaders back on. Look at that. Looks, I think the wall looks a lot nicer with shaders on. You can't tell that it's all messed up. <laughs> okay, here we go. Pulverizer. Where well, I'm coming for you. Uh, our system's not turned on at the moment either, and it's kind of just because we're out of space as well. I mean, look at this. Jesus. Uh, we've got a lot of iron, which is nice. I might take some of that. Right, let's pulverize you up. And get ourselves a metric button of redstone. Look at that. I'm sure... Whoa, 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 whoa. I was promised 24. Um? 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 <laughs> I'm pretty sure it says 24 there. 
Uh, maybe they changed it in the uh, just for this map to make it a bit less uh, OP, possibly. But still, 16. I'll take 16 <laughs> over 0. Okay, 16. We've got almost a stack now, which should be more than enough to get us all those discs that we needed. And the reason I'm thinking about getting the iron is because I know we need a lot of iron for the discs as well. So we'll grab this. We'll grab one more set. And then I'm going to trade out my hopper because I need that for this stuff. And I also don't need you, so I'll take you as well. Thank you very much. So, let's run out here. See, I'm quite... You'll see I made a, a diamond hammer as well because I was... I didn't want to have to hammer through that stuff really slowly. I'm quite... Ha I'm like half tempted to go through and try and like double all this as well so we can get 88 iron. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if we've got enough honors, then I might double it for the next episode. And even if we don't, I think I might try double it anyway because 88 iron is a nice amount of iron. Anyway, back on track, Isaac. We're going to need a screen of sorts. I call it a screen. We need three of this stuff. What? How do we make this again? I forget. Ah, we need some of this stuff. Uh, we've got raw plastic now, which could make it easier. Uh, okay, we'll look at that in a second. Let's get our disc going first. So we need a 4K disc, which requires some of you, some of you. So we're going to need three... How many of these are we going to need? Um, one, two, three, four. Four basic processors. Okay. Okay. So we need four more of these guys. Uh, so gold was it? It was like gold. Oh, no, it's not. It's like this. It's gold, silicon, redstone, and this guy. Okay, one, two, three, four. Thank you very much. I think we might need some more of those as well. All the tusks done. Nice. Okay, do we need one for this? We do. So we might as well make one more while we're at it. There we go. Done. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, um, uh, yeah. Okay. We'll we'll do one one this episode. I think um, we'll see how much we can get onto one disc. Uh, I don't think we're going to get anywhere near all of this onto one disc. But what I might do again is between episodes, I will just like try and go around, make a few more discs, and just put everything on, hopefully. And uh, then hopefully next episode it'll be really easy. We can just come over here and be like, oh yeah, look, here's all our stuff. We can just search for it. And everything will be beautiful again. Okay, so four basic processors. We've got them guys. Let's take these back. And we're going to need to make some of these. So one, two, three. What are we out on? We're out on the crystals. Can we use the dust to make the crystals? Is that a thing? It is. You can actually just craft them. Wow, that's awesome. Okay. So we will take a bunch of you. We can put you back and get rid of the seeds. We've got a ton of seeds. And let's just craft these up. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even realize you could do that. Okay, cool stuff. So recipe, shift click in. We'll take another one of those. And then shift click in. We'll take one of those. Once we grab this guy. And we're going to need one more process. I didn't even account for the fact that we needed one in there. Okay. So we need one of these boom and then finally we got an extra one hmm hmm okay and then finally one of these there we go nice 4k cell throw you in here and then get to work because we need one more uh, processor like that there we go i'm just gonna take a few there we go five will do because we are gonna need more of them I'm, i assure you of it we're gonna need more so we'll wait for you to finish and then we should be good to make this guy. So we're going to need some of this fluid stuff, which is uh, Surtis Quartz, Nether Quartz and Redstone. So we are going to have to take some of our Quartz over to be pulverized. Hopefully we only have to do one. Because um, I think... Stop. Stop. We've already got... Uh, yeah, we should only need to do one. Okay. So we'll throw one of you in here. And just try and spam click. No, we missed it. Where did that end up? There it is. Okay. So if we take this guy, some plastic sheets, some Certus dust, and a redstone, I think it was, uh, we get actually four Fluix dust, which is kind of nice, that gives us six. So enough to make two sets if we really want to, which is kind of cool. So we'll eat some bread, because bread is good. Oh, even toast, sorry. My apologies. Gosh, you know, <laughs> mixing up bread and toast, I hate, I hate it when people do that. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, Fluix dust is this stuff. We do not have everything we need to make it. Nether quartz, dust, this stuff, this stuff. Can we just craft this? No, okay. So it, it's, it goes forward easy enough, but just doesn't come backwards. Okay. So if we put you in, you in, uh, you in, and you in, we get four fluid dust. Nice. And then I think it's just glass. Look at that. Perfect amount of glass. Watch, we'll need like one more now. <laughs> Take that. There we go. And we want one of these, a storage monitor. So we got... Um, do, 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 do. What do we need? We need one of those? No? Okay. Um, yeah, we do need one of those, but that means we need this thing. So, this this, this uh, Applied Logistics has got some hard stuff in it to make. Alright, we need a stick. Stick, a stick, a stick. 
a stick would be beautiful right about now. Uh, hopefully two of this should give us a normal stick. There we go. I'm hoping Sakura sticks work. I would assume they do. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we don't need any more of those guys. And like 19th tries the charm. There we go. And do we have what it takes to make one of these? No? What are we missing? Uh, three glass. Ah, oh, I told you we'd need more. <laughs> I knew we'd need more. Anyway, okay, look, we can make it easy enough. Let's just put one, two, three. One, two, three. Get rid of the gravel. Cook up the sand. And we'll get some more glass. Nice. So I'll take you back. I don't need you. Put you away. I don't need you. And also, did we get any gravel back? We did. I don't need you or you. There we go. Okay, so this is actually taking a sweet time, isn't it? <laughs> Gosh. So this guy here is, uh, for those who don't know, is a 4096 byte or 4K storage disk, and it has 63 types. So with the Applied Energistic storage disks, you can hold up to 63 types, so up to 63 different items on each disk, and then the bytes is like how many of each item you have. So I'm not too sure if it works out like one byte is one item. I'm, I, I haven't actually never looked into it, actually. I probably should as to uh, how the bytes are used. But basically, the more items you have in there, the more bytes are used up, but the more types of items you have in there, so the more different items you have in there, the more types are used up. So you could just fill it with like 4,000 bytes worth of cobblestone, which would be like hundreds of cobblestone, maybe thousands of cobblestone, but only one of 63 types. Or you could fill it with one of 63 different items. So that's basically how it works. Or you could just fill it with full of 63 different types of items. It's up to you. So let's take you, let's get in here, and boom, storage one there, nice. So let's pick that back up. <laughs> and all we've got to do now, put this guy here, and we can see exactly what's in our system. But because we have nothing in there, is it not letting us... Uh, let me work. Um, Store ME drive, ME storage monitor is not working. We may, just maybe, have to do some stuff to make this work, which is a pain. We might have to make an ME chest after all, which is not too big of a, oh my God, look at these guys, thinking they're all that a bit more. Yeah, that's what, that's right, Go. Yeah, that's right, run away to opposite ends of the map. We might have to get an ME storage drive just to, oh. Ah, oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a access terminal. Ah, oh, Isaac, what are you on about? Ah, oh, built the wrong thing, flipping heck. <laughs> Wasting stuff already. We want an access terminal is what we want. So we, it's not even that hard to make. Ah, look at me just. <sighs> it's been a while since I made this stuff. Okay. This, this, this. There we go. Throw you in there. And right, what else do we need? We need three glass. Conversion matrix is a, another one of these guys with uh, some fluid. Stuff. Actually, I think we have what it takes to make that. Which is nice. Okay. Plunk. No, what are we missing? Uh, quads, four iron, crystals. Crystals, crystals, crystals is what we are missing. And try one more time. Boom. There we go. Nice. Conversion matrix. And as soon as that glass is done, that should be a walk in the park. There we go. Put you on there. Grab you. Nice. So now we can get rid of you because you're just wasting everyone's time. Put you down. And we should be able to see everything in here. So now if I dump, say, all this stuff in here... Actually, I can just space bar. If you hold space bar, left click, it'll dump everything in. Uh, here's all my stuff. If you look at the drive, it's got 800 of the 4,000 bytes have been used and 25 of the 63 types have been used. So, let's say we just empty this out. <laughs> Run over here, dump that back in. Uh, how much have been used now? 1,000, but almost 49 of 63 types. And uh, let's see, can we get the rest in? Almost. So. Now we've filled up all 63 types, but only 2,094 of 4,096 bytes have been used. So if we go around and find like a bunch more cobblestone, which I know for a fact we have, like this, we can't put in stuff like any of this stuff, but we can put in cobblestone. We can actually put in as much cobblestone, well not as much. <laughs> we can put in as much as we want up to the 4,000 byte limit. So we can actually grab most of this cobblestone and dump it in there. And one of the cool things I like about this is the fact that it stores all of the cobblestone um, in one item slot. So you can see that we've got a... Uh, We've got like almost three and a half thousand cobblestone there, which is kind of nice. So that's the ME system for you. That's how that works. Let's just grab uh, a little bit more cobblestone. Let's actually just grab loads of stuff and see what goes in. <laughs> um, so what I'll probably do now between episodes is, like I said, I will try and put most of the stuff in here. What I'll probably end up doing is making a few more discs, like I say, probably a lot more, probably enough, hopefully, to, uh, to get all of this stuff into the system. Because now what we can do, which is really cool, is we can have all our stuff stored in here, which is nice. But we can also just right click and say we wanted, I could see the iron there, but let's just say we couldn't see it and we wanted iron. I could just type in iron 
and it's there. I don't even have to look for what feathers. Do we put feathers in? We did. I can just there feathers. It's just nice and easy, and we can just access everything we want from within this terminal, and it's all very nice. So thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, and I will see you guys on episode twenty-seven. Bye bye.